Accounting Review. This will be a quick review of accounting equation dynamics including accounts specific to job order costing. What we're looking at here is the typical accounts that are on a balance sheet. We have the assets, what you have is equal to the liabilities and owner's equity, liabilities representing what you owe, and owner's equity representing what you own. Assets are increased with a debit, decreased with a credit. Conversely, liabilities are increased with a credit, decreased with a debit, owner's equity increased with a credit, and decreased with a debit. There are many accounts that make up the calculation of owner's equity. Typically, the statement of retained earnings or owner's equity is prepared in order to calculate owner's equity. Owner's equity is comprised of net income or net loss minus with dividends or withdrawals plus any common stock sold or owner's capital invested. Owner's capital increases with the credit, which makes sense because it is a credit-based account that is flowing into owner's equity as the total calculation. So increases or investments by the owner or purchases of stock by outside stockholders increase with the credit. Additionally, dividends or withdrawals which decrease owner's equity, those increase with the debit, and it makes sense because debits decrease owner's equity. Net income increases with the credit. However, if it, I was representing net losses, those would be a debit based, but they're also decreasing owner's equity. These come from the statement of retained earnings and owner's equity. Net income comes from the income statement, which is comprised of sales or revenue, which is credit based, subtracting out cost of goods sold and expenses, which are debit based. Again, it follows the same philosophy. When we're increasing dividends and expenses, we are under the, the debit side of owner's equity, which is decreasing owner's equity. And when we're increasing owner's equity, we're increasing it with common stock owner's capital investments or retained earnings or earnings from the company if, you're, if it's a sole proprietorship being increased with the credit. Now, let's look at some accounts that are peculiar to a manufacturing firm. Raw materials come into the firm, then they move to the factory floor as work in process, then it moves from work in process once it's completed on the factory or shop floor, and it moves to finished goods. These are all assets, all inventory accounts. Typically in a merchandising enterprise, you would see these as inventory, but however, since we're manufacturing the inventory, we have the three various stages of inventory. Since they're asset, they, assets, rather, they all increase with the debit. When they flow from, flow from one category to the other, they are going to be decreased with the credit. So in other words, when we're moving raw materials onto the factory floor, we are going to debit work in process for the movement of materials, and we're going to credit raw materials for the fact that they've left the raw material warehouse. Same thing with work in process moving to finished goods. We will debit finished goods to realize the fact that they've moved off the factory floor and now ready to be shipped or on the, the uh, store shelves. And we will credit work in progress to show that they're no longer there, but they're now in finished goods. One other account that we need to speak about when we're talking about uh, an accounting review for job or costing is an overhead account. The overhead account is an accumulation account. It's sort of a uh, clearing account. In this account, we are going to debit it for all of the actual expenses of overhead. Overhead will be comprised of indirect materials, indirect labor, and all the other factory-related expenses that you're paying that are associated with overhead. Those will increase with the debit when you're paying the actual expenses. However, once you apply overhead to the job order cost sheet, you are going to credit overhead. So all of the applied um, overhead will be credited to overhead. The balance over or under will be closed out to cost of goods sold. And we'll go through more of that when we look at job order costing in total.